Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I had an idea for an open tag because I enjoy doing the open tags that everybody else does, but I thought I'd just start one. And I had uh, some knives that were sent in to me by a viewer. Uh, thank you, Hal. And that gave me an idea for this one. And also I had this uh, pen knife that I traded uh, Mark Kaufman for a little while back and it hasn't been on the channel yet. And I thought it might be fun to do kind of a comparison. So I'm going to call this one Bigs and Littles, and you'll see why in just a second. Here, we'll go ahead and start with the Bigs, and that would be this Rough Rider. This is the RR2080, the Giant Warncliffe. Uh, this one is in tan, and it has a five and a quarter inch uh, T10 carbon blade. This is uh, <laughs> just an awesome Warncliffe. And I don't even think I can get this entire knife when it's open. Because when it's open all the way, it's like 11 and 3 quarter inches. Uh, just weighs 7.85 ounces, which is actually, for a knife this large, is not that bad. It does have a liner lock. And uh, check out these uh, red underliners underneath the tan uh, G10. It's actually a really cool touch. And I liked it. You can see it's uh, open construction on this, which helps to uh, keep the uh, weight down. And it's a liner lock. And then, like he told me, you got to kind of be careful because it does drop shut. What a really great knife. If you want a large knife, uh, I can't think of anything bigger. So here is, uh, here's the big. Like I said, it's got uh, a ball bearing pivot. It has a lanyard hole if you're so inclined. And just, you know, where do you want to, you can hold it up here. You can get that extra reach and hold it down here. It does have some uh, finger uh, grooves here, which are really nice. And it does give you lots of uh, purchase. There's no jimping on top, so it's kind of smooth. But, you know, when you hold it like this, it's not going anywhere. Nice, uh, you know, grippy G10. The uh, pocket clip doesn't get in the way. And it's uh, not a bad pocket clip. It's not uh, ultra deep carry, but uh, I don't know, you need a really big pocket to uh, deep carry this monster. It's uh, it's pretty big, and like I said, what a lovely, lovely Warncliffe blade it has. Uh, this guy is a beast. So we'll go on to our little in this comparison, and this is a uh, Case Model 62033. So it's kind of an interesting uh, pattern because it has this clip point, but it's kind of uh, angled down, like a, more like on a muskrat. Uh, the other pictures I've seen of knives like this, it typically has just a straight uh, clip point. It doesn't have the angled uh, blade on it, but it's very interesting. This was made in uh, 1989, and it has a pen blade on the other side. These uh, share the one single back spring. You can see there's no, no gapping. Uh, everything is nice and tight on this uh, particular case. You know, beautiful jig bone. This is uh, really just a super nice little pen knife. Uh, what I found out about the uh, pattern, the 33 pattern, is uh, that they uh, were called small or baby premium pen knives. And uh, both of these blades uh, share a back spring. These knives were introduced around 1940. Uh, and then, like I said, this one here is from 1989. The 33 pattern actually had three different knife patterns uh, that you could have a, a 33 within it, which I think is kind of a unique uh, deal because it has uh, within it the pen knife like this, which is very common with the uh, two opposing uh, blades, but they also made a, a small stockman with the three traditional blades or a, a small jackknife that has two blades that open from the same side. And those were usually a clip and a pen. Like I said, I haven't seen any of the other ones uh, with this particular slant. They seem more like this uh, pen knife. This is my uh, Camillus, which is a, a much more traditional uh, clip. And you'll see how, how it just kind of comes straight out. And that's all the other pictures that I can find of ones like this. So this is unique. I don't know if it was 
just that year or maybe it's something that they changed uh, during production. Uh, if anybody knows more about the uh, history of the Case 33 pattern, I'd be interested in, in knowing about it. Uh, so let's open this guy up again. So we have our, our bigs and littles that way. And then I wanted to do big and little the other way also, where I was thinking, let's try to see the skinniest knife and your widest knife. So here's a, uh, a SD Classic, which is you know pretty pretty skinny, and I think about the widest uh, blade I have on a folder is this AK-47 from Cold Steel. So there you go. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking for bigs and littles. I wanted to restrict it uh, to folding knives, guys, instead of uh, having fixed blades. But I thought, you know, have your biggest uh, folder, one of your smaller folders, maybe your thinnest blade folder and your widest blade folder. And we'll see what everybody else comes up with. Uh, this is an open tag, open to anybody that has a, a channel. Or if you just want to say in the comments uh, what your uh, blades that meet this uh, criteria are, that would be uh, kind of interesting to know. Anyways, I hope you guys have fun with this and it takes off. Uh, Enjoy. I'm waiting to see your uh, video responses and hear what you guys come up with. I'll see you in the next one.